Hello everyone and welcome to another art video. This one I I posted a little late because I have been sick for the sick for the past week and I still suffer from a little bit of fever but it's a lot better now so I feel more confident in doing this at the moment. But yeah, anyway, this is uh, the second video in my uh, mythological creature series and with Norse mythology and uh, for this one I do the Kraken or Kraken as we pronounce it in Scandinavia and uh, the typical story of the Kraken it's about a legendary cephalod like creature of a giant size that dwells off of the coasts of Norway and Greenland in the 1800th centuries where this myth uh, first came to be so it's not really Norse but since it's in the region it's okay <laughs> to include it into the series and yeah it also used these giant tentacles to pull down ships but yes you probably notice now that uh, my version of cr the Kraken is a lot different but there is an explanation to that and I'll get to it in a moment. Um, I just forgot to say, mention also that uh, all the materials I used are listed in the description box below. So my version is based off of a text written in 1752 by a Danish writer and biologist called Erik Pontopidan. And he described Kraken as a giant crab the size of an island with tentacles pulling down ships. So yeah, <laughs> you can see where I got it from then. But yeah, I did it a little bit different because uh, I don't know I, want, <laughs> I wanted to. I didn't really, I drew a hermit crab, I think that's what they're called, they're called that roughly translated off of Swedish and also off of Dutch is similar. <laughs> but yeah, I chose that because I felt like drawing a hermit crab. I never done that before and I thought it would be a little bit cool to do something different like that. <laughs> but anyway, I am going to let you watch uh, part of this drawing and I pop up once in a while to explain certain things. So, enjoy! Perfect! Perfect!
So what I am doing here is that I am defining the blackest of black in the illustration by adding some uh, Windsor and Newton black Indian ink with uh, a brush. And after that I will do some cross hatching to, the f to uh, make it more of a glowing effect and yeah, <laughs> you probably get it <laughs> what I'm trying to say. <laughs> And I do the same with the moon and the sky. So I also went ahead and uh, did some rough sketching on uh, the little moon with a 2B graphite pencil, I think it was. <laughs> and then I used uh, use the 003 Junipin fine liner. And I do some cross hatching. Here and there. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And yeah, this is what I meant with uh, the f doing the glow effect. I do it random hatchings, which will obviously end up in cross hatching <laughs> since I'm overlapping them. And what I do here is I keep uh, dueling out those little water shapes to define it and give it some more details and depth. <laughs> and yeah, this is what I meant when I said I was going to come back with a cross hatching to define it because um, if you think about it, in a dark night and a moonlight. Uh, it's only a few seeps of, of that light that actually goes through the water surface. <laughs> so this is why I'm doing this. <laughs> and remember the more layers of cross hatching that you're adding, uh, the more the darker it will look, even though if it's that it's not 
not pitch black, but the details on the other parts of your drawings will still show. And then I add some uh, different ta different shaped lines to define the surface of the, uh, well, the structure shape of the water, <laughs> whatever you call it. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. But yeah, here I also went with a layer of uh, the liquid ink to try to merge it better into the into the pitch black ink that I added from the beginning, as I find. It looks blacker, the liquid ink and the fine line. It's, well, it's a different type of black. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And now I'm adding the little star details with a with a uni with a uni ball uh, road pen. I think it was. The materials will be down in the description box below, so you can find it out anyway. And then I decided to add some little star meteor shower falling from the sky and the, the basic idea of what I'm doing is that I put down a blob of white ink and then I just rub it out with my finger but anyway thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please leave a like and if you would share it I would appreciate it a lot and if you would like to see more of my content, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to get notified about my new videos, just click that little be bell icon below. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye!